Good morning, free will family and friends. God is so good. In spite of what we're going through right now, I'm just glad that we are not by ourselves. The Bible says that even though we go through the fire or through the floods, God will be with us. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I'll fear no evil for the Lord is with me. Jesus told the disciples that he would not leave them nor forsake them, but he would go with them even unto the end of the age. And Jesus said, said that even knowing that he would physically depart from them, but he knew that his spirit would be with them. Beloved, I need you to understand that when you get God's word in your life, you have much more than some words on a piece of paper, but you have the spirit of God operating in your soul. The Bible says that the word of God is quick, it is powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword. I need you to know, beloved, that the word of God is alive. And if there's anything that's going to help us in this hour to weather the storms of life, to deal with these pandemic issues that we are facing, it is the word of the Almighty God. For the scripture says that it is health to our navel and to all of our our flesh. So beloved, the word of God this is what we need the most. It keeps us alive. It keeps us going. That's why when Jesus was faced and challenged with the devil, he knew to use the word of the almighty God. Paul said in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. We don't fight like men fight. As believers, we fight in a different way. Even Jesus told Pilate, he said, if my kingdom was of this world, then my servants would fight. If you remember in the scriptures, Jesus even stopped his disciples from fighting in the garden of Gethsemane because that is not the way that believers are to fight. Believers don't fight with weapons such as guns and knives and swords and getting on social media trying to blast somebody. But we fight in a totally different way. The Bible says that we are to fight the good fight of faith and to lay hold to eternal life. Beloved, I don't know what you're going through, but I need you to understand. Yes, I know that we're still in the earth, but we also have one foot in heaven. And God who sits in heaven will bless us that we can have the victory.